Hey guys and welcome to JTEC WP. I've just got the new iPhone 12 Pro and in today's video I'm going to cover how to copy your old iPhone to your new iPhone and sync it with your Apple Watch. Let's go! Place your old iPhone next to your new iPhone and then power on your new iPhone. As soon as it powers up it says hello, swipe upwards, choose your language, choose your region. I'm in UK so I choose United Kingdom. Okay, the quick start will appear and what we need to do now is press the screen on on the old iPhone and just make sure your Bluetooth is on. Get rid of any messages if there are any and you should see set up new iPhone, press unlock to continue and then log into your device, then set up new iPhone, continue. Now we've got to scan the uh, particles, so hold your iPhone above the new one until it, uh, it finds it. On the old iPhone, it will now say finish on new iPhone. It'll ask you to enter your passcode. So this is the passcode from your old iPhone. Type that in the new one. It'll be a few moments setting everything up because it's scanning. It will tell you it take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So just be patient at this point. And then it will eventually ask you to do a face ID scan. So I scan my face, so I'm following the instructions on screen, moving it, moving my face around until the scan says 100% complete. Then it will take you to transfer to iPhone. We got to read the terms and conditions, so press agree. And then for most of these screens, you'll be able to press continue and continue. So you can use iMessage and FaceTime. And I'll also have my Apple Watch configured as well. So I press continue. Uh, share audio recordings, yeah, I've got no problem with that, no security and privacy issues. Share with Apple and share with app developers so they can improve the apps for you. And as it's a brand new phone, it's an iPhone 12 Pro, uh, I've got to update the iOS. Again, I just read through the terms and conditions, so swipe all the way to the bottom and then I'm just going to tap agree. It's going to take quite a while to download the software, so give it about 15-20 minutes depending on your broadband connection. I've sped it up here just so you don't have to wait. Your new iOS will be updating and installing. And then it'll go into the preparing phase. So it's preparing the update for the install. And it will verify the update to check everything's correct before it runs the full installer. And then it will reboot and you'll see the progress bar and the Apple on the new phone. Your old phone will probably be telling you to wait for the software to update. Then that's not a problem. Just leave it. It's a good time to go get a quick coffee now while it's doing this. Okay, my phone's now rebooted. I swipe up, enter my PIN, and now it's finishing off transferring the data. And in a few moments time, you should have a fully functioning new iPhone with everything copied across from your old one. Okay, so it's just finalizing the transfer. You can see both progress bars moving at the same time now. So when you get to this point, you're nearly done. Okay, the transfer is complete. So the old files are moved to the new phone. Again, it'll do another reboot. Okay, it's finished rebooting. I'm now accessing the new phone. So I'm pressing continue. You can set your display zoom. I've opted for standard. So it shows you what it looks like on both. Press continue, then swipe up to get started. It will take a bit of time just to update all your apps to the latest versions and it will go through uh, Apple ID verification. So I go to settings, put in my Apple password. And then it's going to ask me for a text verification code or it might well appear on my old device. Okay, so there we go. It's appeared on my old device. So I just type in that code. And now it's syncing my iPhone account and Apple ID. I go finish setting up my iPhone. It's now telling me my iPhone ID being new, used on a new phone. Press OK. Finish setting up. And it'll tell me that my new phone is being used for FaceTime and messages. My Apple Watch is now uh, flashed up to say it wants to synchronize with the phone. I remove the old phone and put the watch next to the new phone. 
enter my phone passcode. It says pair with watch and new iPhone. Do you want to prepare? Add your password. The watch is going to do a reboot and sync to the new phone. I'm going to choose to use Siri while I'm waiting. Uh, press continue. It will take a while for all your apps to download and update. If you've got things like banking apps or Authy app, you'll need to re-verify these once the phone's set up as it doesn't copy the login details across for certain things like banking apps and financial apps. Okay, so our watch is just synchronized to the new phone and that's it, your new phone is ready to go. So that's how you do it. That's how you copy all the files from your old iPhone to the new one and also sync it up with your Apple Watch.